you've heard of a slow news week. This was a stupid news week. <laughs> First of all, look, we feel bad for the people who got hit by the hurricane. Of course, we wish them the least pain possible. But anytime there's a hurricane, the news turns into a wet T-shirt contest. <laughs> Every FM, it's out there with a the rain slicker. I don't know if I'm watching CNN or an ad for Gorton's fish sticks. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> and what... <laughs> What pisses me off is that what's souping up the hurricanes gets less coverage. Hey, media, link those two. As long as you're out there in the storm. Link them. Yeah, I mean, a report from the UN about the UN climate policy. Do you see this? This week says this planet has like 20 good years left. They say it could become unlivable. And I don't mean Tarzana unlivable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean unlivable, unlivable, I kid Tarzan. It's a great place. <laughs> but, I mean, can you imagine that? A UN report warning about catastrophic damage from climate change drops just as such a hurricane hits. Only a moron could not see the connection. <laughs> or as Trump said, I don't see the connection. <laughs> No, the, the hurricane is very much on Trump's mind. <laughs> he had a whole roll of paper towels stuck to his shoe. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the midterms are less than a month away. Closing arguments. Trump is calling the Democrats an angry mob. We're an angry mob. And the party of crime. We're the mob? We're an angry mob. Because the only liberals I ever see with the pitchfork are composting. That's... <laughs> I... He's, this, <laughs> this, uh, he says, we're too dangerous to govern. We're too dangerous. We're the mob, too dangerous to govern. And then he mentioned Dianne Feinstein, and the crowd started to chant, lock her up. <laughs> That's the thing about a lynch mob. They don't get irony. You know, they just... Uh, <laughs> and he... And he Any woman they don't like, Hillary, lock her up. Diane Feinstein, lock her up. Taylor Swift, what the hell, lock her up, you know? <laughs> well, he, he saw that Taylor Swift came out for the Democrats in Tennessee, and Trump... <laughs> Trump... Trump does, does not like that. He did that. I, th I think what it, Taylor Swift reminds him of Hillary, uh, a powerful blonde woman who has been rejected by millions of white men. <laughs> I, Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> there are reports now that Trump has finally agreed to talk to Robert Mueller, will not talk, but answer 15 questions uh, in writing. Uh, first questions, wh why did you let Kanye in the White House? <laughs> um, <laughs> right. Two, what is boofing? <laughs> <laughs> Three, when you do your hair and your makeup and you go outside, you do realize we can see you. That, that would... <laughs> but, but I don't know if you saw that this week, but uh, Donald Trump, our president, held a, a meeting at the White House to stress the importance of mental health. <laughs> he, <laughs> he didn't mean to, but, but that's... <laughs> But come on, well, I mean, really. I mean, Kanye West called for the abolishing the amendment that freed the slaves. He said it was a trap door for black people, whatever that means. And Trump was like, you had me at bringing back slavery. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Tanre, I mean, some of the quotes are pretty amazing. He said, uh, this is our president. He has to be the freshest, the flyest, the flyest planes the best factories, and we have to make our core be empowered. And Trump said, I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> and I can understand Melania, you know. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Trump and Kanye, one sang gold digger, one married one. <laughs> Stop it.
No, she's uh, just back from Africa. She said she's very happy to be home. She said, there's no shithole like home. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, that, that meeting this week in, with Kanye, I mean, it, it was sad. He said he was misdiagnosed with bipolar disorder, but it was really a matter of sleep deprivation. And then Kanye said... <laughs> I have problems, too. And, uh, and he, he, Kanye ranted for 25 minutes, and Trump just sat there and listened. And I thought, finally, at least we found someone who can make Trump shut the fuck up. 